Uh, good afternoon from Bangkok, everyone, and welcome to Pada Spotlight. Um, my name is Rung Tef Gao. I'm your host for today. And we have partnered up with RMA Travel today. The topic for today's Pada Spotlight is the Russian outbound tourism um, on trends, analysis and statistics. So we are very excited. Um, we have Miss uh, Svetlana Piatchikhatka. I hope I pronounced that name properly. She um, is the business development director at RMAA Travel Group, and she will be speaking uh, and giving you some more insights into the Russian outbound tourism. So I think that will be very um, interesting. And yeah, as I said, we're very excited to have partnered up with RMAA Group on this. Um, as always, uh, once the presentation is done, we have some time for questions and answers. So please um, write them down, put them in the question and answer box or in the chat, chat box. And by the end of the presentation, we will try to answer as many questions as possible. Um, and yes, I'm happy to welcome Ms. Svetlana, um, who will give you insights into the Russian up on tourism. Please, Svetlana. Okay. <clears throat> Hello, everybody from Moscow. Uh, thank you, Rune, for my presentation. And I will be with you next hour, and we will study all together Russian outbound tourism market. I'll give you the main points important to know for work with uh, this market. Hope all information will be not only interesting, but also useful for your work. Uh, so let me start from introducing my company. Arun introduced myself and I introduce my company. Uh, RMAA Travel is a travel marketing agency who could help you to attract Russian tourists to your destination. Our difference uh, from the other uh, 14,000 marketing agencies is that our team is professionals not only in marketing, PR and communication, but also in tourism. So we could talk in uh, with you in the same language, tourism language. So let's start. Um, first of all, I, I could uh, prepare you uh, general information about Russian Federation. Uh, here you see the key figures about Russian population, uh, which is your target audience. So Russia is multinational and multicultural country with uh, 200 nationalities. The majority are Russians by nationality. Russia is uh, quite a young country in terms of the average age, which is uh, less than 40 years. Our country is populated in homogeneously. The most populated districts in Russia are Central and Volga federal districts. And you can see that uh, the majority about 70% uh, of population live in European part. It's very important when you, when you uh, choose the routes from Russia to your country and you uh, need to know uh, where your target audience is concentrated. Uh, more information that there are more women than men in Russia but men prevail up to 30 years old. And also you need to know that there are 16 cities with population more than 1 million. And the biggest are Moscow and St. Petersburg. Altogether, Moscow and uh, St. Petersburg population is about 12% uh, of all population of the Russian Federation. Uh, the most interesting statistics figures for you, maybe it will be the statistics of outbound tourist flow. Um, 
until uh, you could see that until uh, 2014, there was a steady growth uh, of outbound tourism in Russia. The out outbound tourist floor reached its maximum uh, 54 million trips uh, in um, <clears throat> 2013. Currency crisis of uh, 2014 uh, unfortunately affected the number of uh, the Russian tourists traveling abroad and you could see the drop of outbound tourism traffic to its minimum uh, 32 million in uh, 2016. Then from this year, last three years, we are seeing the restoration of outbound tourism flow uh, with positive dynamics and now it's almost fully recovered. What countries for traveling are in the top of Russian tourism market last three years. In this chart, you could see by blue lines the results of uh, 2016. Uh, in red color, you could see the results of uh, 2017. And by yellow, the results of the previous year, uh, 2018. And you could see Turkey that Turkey is a leader of top uh, 25. But why Turkey, could you ask? Um, a number of significant factors affect uh, the decision of tourists for their choice. And Turkey has successfully united all the main conditions important for the Russian tourist requirement to rest. First of all, uh, First of all, three S, sun, sea, and sand. You know about long and cold Russian winter, uh, which is five or six months. So Russians need real summer with guaranteed sun, warm sea, and sand. And all this is in Turkey. The second factor is short time flight. flight less than five hours from European part of Russia to Turkey. This, the third factor is value of the tourism product. I mean, price quality ratio. Uh, uh, the next factor is all-inclusive system, the favorite system for most of Russian tourists and all, all this is in Turkey. Russian friendly services in Turkish hotel, uh, Russian speaking staff, hotel services adopted to Russian tourists is also uh, very appreciated by Russians. And these factors explain <clears throat> also the second place of Abkhazia, a little country on the Black Sea coast. Uh, this why Russians prefer to rest uh, in Abkhazia. But uh, the statistics uh, is not correct uh, about Abkhazia because the most citizens of Abkhazia has, uh, have um, Russian passports. So I think uh, the statistic of Abkhazia is not correctly. If you have no warm sea, don't be upset because Russian tourists are also curious and uh, open to discover new tourism destinations and admire classic routes also. Where tourists from Russian regions go? Russia is a huge country and it occupies one ninth of the earth, la uh, earth, earth land and its lands are from West to east is about 10,000 kilometers. The immense distances affect the tourist market, which is heterogeneous and varies from region to region. <clears throat> from Far East tourists travel mainly to the countries of the Asia Pacific regions, for example, 
and from the European part, St. Petersburg, St. Petersburg and Moscow, they mainly go to the European countries. You could see it in these diagrams. Otherwise, it's long and expensive to travel there. Let's look at uh, Russia's place in the world tourism in terms of tourist expenditures. Uh, here in this chart, you could see the place of uh, Russia in uh, terms of uh, tourist expenditures on holidays and travel abroad. And you could see that uh, during three years from uh, 2012 to 2014, Russia was in the top five of countries uh, with um, most, uh, the, with the um, biggest uh, tourist expenditures uh, on their travel abroad. Uh, after crisis, uh, currency crisis of uh, 2014, Russia held, uh, Russia disappeared from the top, um, top uh, 10 countries due to this crisis. But in um, <clears throat> 2017, Russia raised from 11 to 8th uh, place and get uh, into top 10 again. In previous year, 2018, Russia replaced from 8th to 7th place and showed 34.5 billion US dollars tourist expenditures abroad. Who is a Russian tourist who spent a lot of money for its traveling? Let's research together. The portrait of a Russian tourist has its own features, which you must know if Russians are your target audience. Here in this chart, you could see the, um, that uh, <clears throat> two thirds of Russian tourists prefer organized tours. Uh, it colors by blue. Uh, and travel during 10, from 10 to 15 days. And only 34% travel independently. The number of individual tourism slowly increases, but it's um, more or less than, uh, but it's uh, less than in the other countries. Why Russians prefer to travel in group? Let's research it the main barriers for Russian outbound tourism. <clears throat> uh, for a moment in uh, 2019, 147 countries are visa-free or simplified visa regime for Russians. But Russian citizens still need a visa to travel as a tourist uh, in a lot of countries. There is an opinion that obtaining visa is very difficult. To get a visa on your own, a difficult and troublesome thing. So if your country have no visa-free or simplified visa regime with Russia, do, so explain your target audience that how to obtain visa to your country. So this is the first barrier for Russian tourists. The second point is time barriers. Russia is the largest country in the world and the time it takes to go from one part uh, to another part of Russia um, <clears throat> takes, uh, for example, from St. Petersburg to Vladivostok, takes about 10 hours by flight and one week from Moscow to Vladivostok by train. 
Russians have 28 days of paid vacation and more for the northern regions, plus public holidays. The most long public holidays are New Year holidays, uh, about one week from the 1st to 8 or 9 January, then May Day holidays, for example, <clears throat> this year they were from 1st to 5th May and from 9 to, uh, to 12 May. Besides summer, the New Year and May Day public holidays are the most popular time periods for traveling for Russians. Um, about time barrier. Geographical location becomes sometimes main factor influencing to weekend trips, for example, for short trips. Uh, for example, there are uh, short bus trips to Finland and Estonia, and they are very popular and accessible to those who live near the border. Or for example, citizens of Blagovitians, Amu regions, like to travel to Hehe, Chinese city of neighboring Hengzhou province in China. <clears throat> Russians who live in Far East prefer to travel to Asian countries and Russians who live in European part prefer, uh, prefer to travel to, European, uh, to, to Europe, European countries. So the third barrier is language and cultural barrier. Russians have a relatively low level of English language proficiency. Naturally, this leads to difficulties when it comes to practical issue, like reading menu, for example, or certainly limits the opportunities to communicate with locals. Russian-speaking hotel staff, brochures, and even audio guide in city tour buses in Russian are greatly appreciated. I mean, be Russian friendly if you want to work with Russian tourists. The first factor, uh, the first barrier for Russian tourists is worries, their worries about safety and security. The unexperienced, uh, inexperienced traveler is especially worried about getting lost in uh, a foreign country. Language barrier increased the difficulty of asking for information or help, as well as a sense of exclusion and the fear to be, uh, to be cheated. Lack of knowledge, what to do in case of an emergency is another concern. If you know these features, you can understand why two thirds of Russian tourists prefer organized tourism. How Russian tourists choose a country? As you see in this chart, uh, Russian trust other people's opinion twice more than the advertising on TV or magazines, for example. The main sources of information affecting the choice of the country of travel are online reviews and opinion of their friends. The other, the other sources, uh, such as video reviews, books, magazines, TV, radio, uh, social networks, are equal influence on decision making, but the tendency is that influence of social networks constantly increases. Here you see where do Russians prefer to spend their vacation. And uh, you see that uh, one third, 34, persons of Russians prefer beach holiday. And it explains why Turkey is a leader of top countries of traveling for Russians. 
But Russians are also uh, another preferences. And uh, for example, about one third prefer to stay at home and uh, or to go to the village, to their dacha, little house in the, the village. And they are not your clients. Your clients are 23 persons uh, of Russians who like active vacation. I mean, biking, trekking, sports, etc. And also 20 persons of Russian who like cognitive tourism and excursions. So these are your clients. These are tourists. The portrait of Russian tourist will be not complete without portrait of Russian internet user. Here you see the Russian internet user who, plan, who plans his trip is a woman, 31 plus age, who use smartphone more often than tablet at the stage of search of air tickets or hotels or destination. And she chooses the, this destination for traveling according to internet review and opinion of her friends. Where Russian tourists stay during their traveling? Four star, four star hotels are the most popular among tourists from Russia. In 2017, the proportion of users of a four star hotels increases by two persons. And three star hotels decreased by three persons. The use of five star and two star hotels and hostels hasn't changed. You could see that the most of Russian tourists stayed in hotel in 2017. And the most interesting uh, fact, how much Russian tourists spend in their traveling abroad. You could see uh, that according to the data of uh, UNWTO uh, 2018, uh, the travelers from Russia spent 100, uh, 1,676 US dollars per person for one trip. And they spent their, uh, their budget before trip. Uh, 51 percent and uh, during the trip 49 person uh, about 50 50. 70 percent of Russian tourists use bank cards in their trip. We continue our little research with media market overview in Russia. Here you could see uh, how many time, how many hours uh, Russian spends um, on the different media. And you, you could see that about four hours daily Russian spend on the internet. A little uh, less, about three hours they spend to uh, watch TV. Radio is uh, less and also um, less printed books. The most popular multi-platforms uh, multi are Yandex, as you can see, who covers 79% of audience, uh, internet audience, and also Google, who is in the second place, 
who covers 74% of internet audience in Russia. Also, you could see that the most visited sites from, uh, from desktop, for example, are Yandex.ru uh, with um, 14 million, uh, million monthly VK, Kontakte, this network, Russian network, also Mail.ru, also network, Russian network, and uh, multi-platform majority. Uh, with uh, 9 million monthly, then Google.com uh, with 8 million monthly, and YouTube with 7 million monthly. The picture changed a little uh, for users of tablet and smartphone. The top is VK, WhatsApp, Google, Yandex, and Instagram. And on the bottom right, you could see the top or the top uh, 15 of application most popular in Russia. You could see that the most popular is WhatsApp, then Kontakte, VK, then uh, Google Chrome, then Viber, um, Sberbank, Instagram, uh, Google, and YouTube. What social networks are the most uh, are popular in Russian in Russia? Here you see that uh, here you see the social media rating used by Russians. The leader is VK Kontakte, then Facebook. Adnaklasniki, OK, and Instagram, uh, who uh, have a, approximately equal indexes. So, in the right side of this slide, you could see the reasons for using social networks and following behaviors on social media. So, you could see that if you plan internet promotion campaign, you need to know that it's better to choose brand's activity in social media than traditional internet advertising. Because users not only search brands in social media, but even follow the pages uh, in uh, social networks um, to uh, when they intended to purchase something. Here you see the most popular places for advertising in Russia. They are internet as a leader. You could see the positive dynamics, um, <clears throat> the positive dynamics plus uh, 22, uh, 22 persons. Uh, then TV, then out of home advertising. So when you choose the place for promotion. Uh, so you could remember this uh, information. Our next point is um, little research of B2B tourism market. Why it's very important in Russia? Because you remember that a Russian tourist prefer uh, organized tourism. And here you see the chart of uh, tour operators and travel agencies um, activities. Um, <clears throat> these two types of uh, activities in tourism uh, in Russia needs different documents for registration and also public authorities have different requirements to tour operators and to travel agencies for control of their business. Tour operators develop uh, tools and provide uh, provide uh, travel um, and provide travel agencies, uh, travel services. Travel agencies um, is uh, the company who has direct direct communication with the tourists 
as a client. <clears throat> and uh, here you see that uh, the quantity of travel agencies are much more than uh, quantity of uh, two operators. In this chart, you could see tour packages sold to Russian tourists. Blue color is uh, tour packages sold uh, to foreign countries. Orange color is uh, tour packages so sold to Russia. You see that uh, the interest of uh, Russian tourists in foreign uh, organized trip um, increases up to 2014. Then uh, because of uh, crisis, uh, it uh, a little, um, it uh, demonstrate um, a little uh, fall. And then uh, it starts to restore again uh, from 20, 2016. In 2016, the proportion uh, of tour packages uh, to foreign countries and to Russia was, uh, no, no, uh, Russia, Russia tour package, Russia tour packages to foreign countries tour packages was one to three. And we see a, ten a tendency to restore the possibility for Russians of traveling abroad. How to build your marketing strategy? We recommend you to build your communication or marketing strategy on three levels simultaneously. I mean, B2B communication, work with Russian travel agencies and tour operators. Um, and your goal is that Russian travel agencies start to sell in trips to your destination, or to your country or to your object. B2G communication, the development of relations between Russian tourism industry and the uh, tourism authority of your country. It's very important also. And the uh, last one is B2C communication. When, like, uh, when Russian tourists know about your destination or your object of uh, tourism services and want to visit it. So before you start your marketing campaign, you need to answer three questions. Who is, who is your target audience? What message, oh, excuse me, it doesn't show, <laughs> excuse me, a little minute. Who is your target audience? What is the message? What uh, what you want to to uh, to sell or to send to your target audience? How this message obey your uh, how this uh, message convey, convey uh, your target audience? When you answer these questions. You could, uh, you could build your effective marketing campaign. The, so the first question is, who is your target audience? You should identify your target audience as accurately as possible. The success of your marketing strategy depends on this definition because next step Next step will be the creation of message to your target audience. And you need to understand that 
different social groups have different interests and the different information for decision making. Your next step in your marketing strategy is the creation of main message to your target audience. Remember or create a beautiful and interesting story about your destination or about your object or about your product, which motivate your target audience to come here to see everything by their own eyes, to hear it by their own ears, to, to taste it by themselves, to touch maybe by, by their hand, to make photo and to make selfie. Next step, add the perfect product to this story. It may be route, excursion, souvenirs, it may be meals or something else uh, to this uh, story. Because remember that tourism is, first of all, impressions and secondly, experience. And your third step is give the tourist the opportunity to learn and to buy your product through communication. You need to understand how the information gets to your audience. Achieve your objectives by means of marketing, communication, and media tools. I mean, marketing goal. Raise awareness and loyalty to your product for vacation and tourism. Communication goal. Provide reason for traveling to each target audience. Why tourists must to go uh, to your object, to your destination. And the last step is reach the maximum number of possible travelers within each segment of your target audience. So I finish and thank you for your attention. I wish you success in achieving your goals and to attract uh, Russian tourists to your country, to your destination, to your object. Thank you very much. Of course, this uh, webinar uh, couldn't uh, give you uh, more, uh, could, could, could give you a lot of information about tourists. And uh, I think that uh, a lot of features of Russian tourists uh, 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 will be not, uh, or, or was not uh, uh, marked in, uh, in this webinar. So if you, if you want to know more about Russians, uh, go to our site and you could find there our big research report and you could download it uh, free of charge and uh, uh, see more uh, of, about our work and uh, visit our website. If you, uh, then I will try to answer all uh, your questions. And if uh, I couldn't uh, answer all questions now, you could uh, write me uh, to my email. Thank you. Uh -huh. I see the question, which countries' destinations are currently creating the most innovative, effective campaign for Russian travelers? I think Turkey, Cyprus, Greece uh, are the most uh, effective campaign, advertising campaign. Uh, for Russian travelers. The second quen question is, I'm target uh, the millennial, millennial. What is the package they prefer? I um, think that millennials prefer to travel uh, themselves, not uh, by organizing group, with organizing group, 
and um, uh, if your uh, target audience is millennials, I think you need to make your advertising campaign in internet, in networks, networking, um, social networking. I think it will be better for you. The third question is, um, since you are running a reputed company, will you be interested to set Russian travelers to Myanmar? If yes, we would like to know what sort of traveler persons we should prepare for the same. Thank you. Myanmar, <laughs> this is question from Myanmar, thank you. Um, uh, my answer is that um, we are not uh, tour operator, we are only marketing, ma marketing company and uh, we don't work with tourists. So the tour operators and travel agency, Russian travel agencies, um, um, you know, working uh, with um, uh, Russian tourists. So we are interested as uh, maybe as Russians that Russians uh, will go to Myanmar. But if you want to promote Myanmar in, uh, in the Russian market, uh, you need to think about your marketing strategy. Uh, in, I, I don't know what product uh, uh, you have uh, for Russian tourists. Uh, this is big work. This is great work from analysis of uh, the uh, of market of your market, the analysis of your product, the analysis of your destination, and uh, after analysis, you could choose the most effective uh, tools. Uh, for your promotion uh, com campaign. Thank you. Um, can I request the panelists to send me the slides of this presentation? Uh, okay. 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 So, have you any other questions for me? Uh, would you please explain why Russians don't uh, tend to visit India in a large scale despite having a good political relationships? Mm. I don't, I don't know why Russians don't turn, but I know that um, Indian resort Goa is very popular uh, among Russians, Russian tourists, and a lot of uh, Russians uh, go to Goa every every year and every uh, season, winter season, because uh, this is uh, the resort uh, which uh, which is warm and sunny in the uh, winter. What percent, uh, percentage of Russian travel to India subcontinent? Continent. Uh, I know that India is not in the top uh, 25 of the countries preferred to travel in by, uh, by Russian tourists. And I think uh, um, India has a great potential uh, and India need to promote its country in Russia because maybe uh, most of Russians don't know uh, uh, about uh, Russia tourist objects. Uh, what what is interesting to to see in Ra in India? Uh, and I think that uh, if uh, Russia, uh, if Indian government uh, makes something more. Um, for advertising of India in Russia, maybe uh, Russian outbound uh, tourist flow uh, increase, will increase. 
Uh, an average how long uh, do Russian travels ahead that trip? I, um, I marked it in my presentation. Russian travelers um, uh, travel uh, from 10 to 15 days. Thank you. Uh, another question is, is wellness and Ayurveda popular for Russian tourists? Uh, wellness tours and Ayurveda, like, do Russian tourists like wellness tours? Yes, they like wellness tourists uh, uh, as uh, uh, the other tourists from the other countries uh, as well. But uh, they prefer beach, um, beach um, rest because I, I, I said that uh, Russian uh, winter is very long and very cold. <laughs> Okay, understood. Um, what else? We have some more questions, maybe one or two more questions before we wrap up. Um, let me see. What is the, here the question about the payment method. Do you, can you maybe say a bit more about, you said like a lot of Russians use credit card when they travel, but uh, one of our participants is asking, if you have like maybe more detailed information about their preferred payment method when they travel. Do they use cash as well or are they like using credit cards only? What is the payment methods that Russian tourists are using when they travel abroad? Mm -hmm. uh, they uh, spend, uh, they, they pay by card uh, about 70% and uh, another 30% they pay by cash. Okay, okay, thank you. Uh, okay, maybe last question, I guess, uh, for now, but no worries, whoever questions we didn't answer, I will forward everything to Svetlana so she can answer them later. Um, is there a website or of union or a group of association of travel agencies in Russia uh, for B2B collaboration? Mm, yeah. Excuse me, I don't understand your question. Uh, I think this person just wants to know, basically, is there like an association of travel agents in Russia? Ah, there are a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, association in Russia. Um, there is uh, association um, ATOR, for example, A-T-O-R. Uh, this is association of tour operators of Russia. Uh, this is... Uh, um, Raste, that means uh, Russian uh, Alliance of uh, Tourism uh, that uh, united uh, tour operators and travel agencies also. Uh, there is uh, a travel association of um, <clears throat> tour operators and uh, objects of tourism services which um, spe specialized in uh, uh, Russia-China uh, relations, for example, in tourism. This is uh, this uh, association name, uh, World Without Borders. And uh, I think that uh, there is association of um, medicine tourism, association of um, uh, children tourism, a lot of association. <laughs> yes, I can see. So yes, so Basically, there are a lot of associations which you can reach out to if you want to connect to. If you want to connect to B2B, yes. yes. Yeah. And if you don't mind, maybe one last question, uh, which is about, so you mentioned um, that the Russian tourist is very strong in regards to spending when they travel. If this, this person would like to know what percentage is spent uh, or how do they spend their travel budget on is mostly spent on accommodation or shopping or food. Where do Russian tourists spend their money on when they travel? Uh, I think it's about, I, I don't uh, know the, uh, the uh, current, uh, current figures, but I think uh, that uh, Russian usually, Russians usually uh, spend for the accommodation meals and um, and others about uh, two thousand uh, 
US dollars per, per a person for one trip. Okay, okay. Thank you so much. Um, yes, I, I think that would be all for, for this webinar in terms of questions. Once again, thank you so much for taking the time and for presenting on the Russian outbound tourism. It was really insightful and uh, I think everyone learned a lot <laughs> about what the, the Russian tourism looks like. So if you, if you are interested in learning more about RMAA or would like to work with them, feel free to reach out to Svetlana. Um, I will also include all the contact details in our follow-up email, including with the webinar records. Um, so yes, if there's any other questions, you can always reach out to us at um, membership at pada.org. We can also forward that to Svetlana. So yes, you can just get in touch with us and we will connect you directly. So, once again, thank you so much, Savannah, um, for taking the time and doing this. And uh, I wish everyone a good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are. And we will see you all again soon at uh, another PADA webinar, PADA Spotlight webinar. Okay? Bye-bye. Okay. Thank, thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.